Yo guys, what's going on? SJ here again, bringing you all another Team Fortress 2 related video on my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be counting down my top 5 picks for the best looking all class cosmetic sets, or at least most class, I think one of them, one of the cosmetics you can't wear on the pyro. But yeah, all class cosmetic sets that cost less than a key. So the key price at the time of making this video was around 43 refined, so apologies if it has fluctuated. But I don't think it will really matter. Many of them are easily under it. So yeah, if you guys have differing opinions to mine in this video, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let me know the sets you guys use on your classes. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Coming into fifth place on this list, we have the Killer Exclusive, the Summer Shades, and the Merc's Pride Scarf. Coming in at a whopping 40 refined. Now it is worth noting that... The Killer Exclusive and the Summer Shades, which are the main elements in this set, for me at least, come in at only 16 refined, whereas the Merc's Pride Scarf adds another 24. However, I quite like the Merc's Pride Scarf with the other two, and I think it complements them quite well. It's quite a simplistic set, but I think it looks quite nice. And like I said, the main thing is the Killer Exclusive and the Summer Shades, and I think they both look really nice together. So next up in 4th place we have the point and shoot, the antlers and the mercs muffler at 10.11 ref that make up the mini musoak set. Now you would have seen him use this I think on some of his classes, at least definitely the point and shoot and the mercs muffler. It's, it's a really nice set and the fact that it has this sort of taboo almost of it being Musoak's hat or whatever and the antlers and the hat combo being Musoak's is, is quite unfortunate because I think it's a really nice set and the, the cosmetics all go quite nicely together and how, I like how the point and shoot sort of masks the um, band of the antlers which makes it look like they're coming out of the hat which is probably what Musoak thought when he used the exquisite rack on his soldier so yeah it's I think it's a really nice set and yeah it's, it's a really nice set and it's for it's for a good price too. So this next one in third place is the Modest Pile of Hats, the Grey Bands, and the Tuxi, coming in at 9.44 ref. Now this is really for the sophisticated TF2 player, um, we don't want any riff raff in here, but no, I think these cosmetics really go quite nicely together, and for 9.44 ref, if you wanted to, you could have four of these sets for one key, but why would you? I mean, I guess you could get a bunch of your friends and you could all look the same in the servers, but I think it's really nice, and although they're quite simplistic cosmetics, I think they blend really well together, giving off this vibe of class, and I, I, I'm not quite sure how to put it, but yeah, it, it, it looks really classy and it looks really nice, and it's really cheap, so yeah, it's a really nice set, and you can use it on all the classes. So in the runner-up position at second place, we have one of my personal favourites, and this is the Mercs Mohawk, the Macho Man, and the Dead of Knights, coming in at 27.22 ref. I think this this set looks really, really nice, and all, the only thing holding it back from first, I think, is the fact that you can't actually use the Macho Man on the Pyro, or at least it won't let you in SFM, and I don't trust Loadout TF because you can do some weird shit in that. But yeah, so that's a bit unfortunate. However, you get the rest of the classes, and you can still combine the Dead of Night with another Facial Misk and the Macho Man on the Pyro. I think it looks especially good on the Spy, which you would have seen at the end there. I don't know, I, just, it, I think that one's my favourite. But yeah, it's a really nice cosmetic set, and all the cosmetics go really well together. I, it's, it's just a really nice one. The Dead of Night is also, personally, my favourite all-class sort of body misk. So yeah, it's a really nice set, and although it is up there in price, I think it's definitely worth it. So, finally, in first place, we have the Policeman set, and this consists of the Law, the Grey Bands, the Dead of Night, and it comes in at 0.22 more at 27.44 refined. Now, the reason this set trumps the other one is, A, you can use all the cosmetics on the Pyro, that bloody annoying class, um, but it also, I think, looks a lot nicer. The Law and the Grey Bands go really well together, and the Dead of Night just caps it off as a police officer. With this one, I especially like the Engineer, which you would have just seen go past, as I think he looks the most cop-like of them all. I don't know, it's, it's, it's just me. But overall, I think this is a really nice set, and although it's 0.22 more than the last, I think it's definitely worth the step up in price. I mean, it, it's negligible, really. It's like, what, four weapons unique. Anyway, guys, those were my picks for the top five best cosmetic sets for the all-class, under-one-key, 
Let me know what you thought in the comments below, whether you agreed or disagreed with anything I said, what picks you guys would have had in your top five, what, how you'd rearrange it, how you'd change the list. Let me know in the comments below, that's what they're for, for you guys to voice your opinions, I've voiced mine. As always guys, I hope you've all had a swell day, and I hope you all have a swell day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.